Well, Charlie, it's only appropriate that we feature these two whiskeys because we recently visited the distillery. Absolutely. We had a great uh, trip to Michter's, which is the home of these uh, two historic bourbons, right? They are. very One whiskey, one bourbon, very historic. Great story, so stay tuned. Check it out. Hi, welcome to this week's edition of What's New at Charlie's. Well, this week we're, this week we're going way back in history, and uh, Don's going to give you a little history lesson like he always does. My good friend, Mr. Don Williams, the bourbon fool. Don, how are you? I'm good, Charlie, and welcome to the bourbon lair again. Yes, we're back on the, as if you hadn't noticed by now, we're back in the bourbon lair of the bourbon fool. Uh, Charlie's is busy again, which is a good thing, uh, but we got kicked out. So we're here, um, I'm bunking with Don again. Um, so we're going to do a Bomberger and a Shanks. These are Michter products, but they, they, they go way back. So Don... Inform us. Enlighten us, if you will. You know, Charlie, these, uh, these are two that I really am impressed with. Shanks uh, goes back to uh, uh, Mr. Shank was a, uh, John Shank was a Mennonite farmer in Pennsylvania, and he started a distillery back in 1753. And to give you an idea of just how historic this distillery is or this name is, is George Washington actually purchased whiskey from Shanks for the soldiers at Valley Forge. Wow, dude. Yeah, that's it, going back. Uh, it, it's a pretty impressive uh, story. And then Bomberger's follows it because Bomberger's bought out the Shank brand. Yep. So it went Shanks, then Bomberger's, and then fast forward, we get into the Michter's world. Yep, yep, yep. So the... the so the Michters bought the distillery that was these, yep. They, they did, and, and you know, Michters was uh, still a Pennsylvania product. Yeah. And then they made a tactical move to Louisville that I would tell you has been very successful. Uh, they have three properties in Kentucky. They have a farm, a production distillery, and then where we went, the distillery at Fort Nelson. Yeah, which was very cool. We had an excellent time there. Um, it, they showed us all around, gave us uh, some private tour. We spent some time with their master of match, maturation. Let's say that three times real fast. That's huh? right. Uh, Andrea Wilson uh, took a, an hour out of her day to sit and talk, which was really nice of her and very informative, very cool. So we really enjoyed our trip. And they talked about this bourbon we were there, but we did not get to try it. So it's finally landed in Michigan. We've been looking for it forever, and here it is, Don. And uh, they're two of my favorites, and uh, I, I did have an opportunity to try them previously. I was going to go back and say, Don has tried them, because, and he kept bragging about them forever. So when I get there, of course, there's none to try. So this is my first taste of either of them. So here we go. Let's crack a bottle open, and you can just keep going. With, you got anything more? We'll start with the Shanks. We're gonna sh Shanks was the first guy, right? So let's Sh start with him. Shank was the first guy, and Shanks is a 91.2 proof sour mash whiskey. Okay. So it is, you know, a, a traditional sour mash process, and it is a high rye process uh, because it has some uh, uh, malted rye in it, and, and basically uh, it is all Michter's whiskeys are enter the barrel at a low entry proof. Yes, it's one thing we learned on the tour. Right. And it's amazing the difference it makes. It, yes. It really is. And you had the opportunity to try both ways. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Unbelievable. And, and it's really interesting. So. Yes. Cheers, Bubba. Let's see what we got here. Wow. I see why George Washington liked it. It, and this, I, I imagine that. It didn't taste this good in George Washington's day. Uh, uh, I'm just guessing. But what I really, really like about this is that, like all Michter's products, it has this smooth, mellow, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's just smoother and milder because of, I believe it's the low barrel entry. Proof. Sure. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it makes a difference. It's got a great mouthfeel. It's a good, it's easy to drink. It's got a great flavor. 
So a lot of honey. Uh, yeah. The vanilla. You get the spice too. The yeah. Caramel. But again, what I take away from this is the smoothness, the the mellow sipper, and it, this is truly a sipper to me. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Wow. But that being said. I also really, really like Bomb Burgers. All right, well, let's just crack it open then. Let's see what we got here. Now I'm really excited. So Bomb Burgers 2023 release, which is what this is, is 108 proof. And this is actually aged in Chiquapin oak along with, you know, it's spec a certain way by Andrea uh -huh. to be air dried a certain time, then toasted, then charred to her specs, and then it has some malted rye in the mash bill. Uh, I really think that, you know, it's an awesome drink. And this is one of those personal favorites of mine that you don't see around very much. Yeah, I've never seen these bottles before. This is the first time I've seen them in, in this market. First time I've ever received one. I never think I've seen one in a store. So I'm pretty excited. Look at the color on that, just right off the mic. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful color. So cheers, my cheers. friend. So what's the first thing that I notice? Because the first one's a sour mash whiskey. This yeah. is a bourbon. Yeah. This is the sweetness of the corn. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you, you can taste it right up front. Um, it has a great syrupy flavor. Um, it's got traditional spices to it. it. It's a really good bourbon. It is a very good bourbon. Yeah. Wow. So what do you think? I love it, man. It's great. Yeah. It's uh, as everything you said it was going to be. <laughs> I... I I have always been impressed with these, and um, I was fortunate enough to be there a couple times when these were featured in their actual tastings. Uh huh. Um, and you know they are in high demand. When when they are introduced at the Fort Nelson location, they go fast. Right. Uh, I see why. Absolutely, yeah. dude. These are uh, these are definitely premium bourbons. And hey, guess what? They're at Charlie's now. They're at Charlie's. They're and, at Charlie's. And, yeah, come get try them yourself. See what you think. So. And my guess is there are a lot of people in Michigan that have never sampled either one of these. And this is your opportunity because these don't get as much press as some of the other, you know, big hard to find whiskeys. But these are really worth seeking out and sampling them. You'll be very impressed. Absolutely. So come to Charlie's and give them a try. We and, got them. And Finally. Uh, Really good, Charlie and uh, Andrea. Thank you thank for you. spending time. And Absolutely. thank you for getting some of these up to Charlie's. Yeah, very cool. Thank you. Uh, Andrea and Keith had a big part in it. Our uh, our guy Keith that uh, went through the tour with us. And yeah, he had a big part of getting me these bottles because there was a little snafu and, you know, typical stuff. But they're here now. That's all that matters. So uh, come in, check them out. Thanks. Thanks, Don. Cheers. Thanks for letting me bunk here for a while. Yeah. So thank you all for watching. Bye.